Okay, now we're done with problem 13.1. Let's go to problem 13.2, uh, which is, naalala niyo tong problem na to? This is a problem we've done last time. Doon sa mga nagnood ng video lecture last time, this is basically the same problem except that we have a coefficient of friction at the surface. The question now is how do we solve these types of problems? Okay, so what I will do again is uh, I'll just solve the problem because we don't have time. I'll just show you the solution. Okay, I'll just show you the solution to this problem and ganito lang yon. Again, what are the forces acting on the, on the system? So let me first draw the incline. <laughs> Yun yung unang gagawin. Let's draw the free body diagram. So ganyan. Ganyan yung tsura niya, di ba? Tapos, syempre, triangle dapat yan. Okay, ganyan. Now, what are the forces? This is this is the free body diagram of M1. And this for the free body diagram of M1, which is much easier. The question now is, what is what are the forces acting on M1? Ano yung mga forces na nag aakay M1? Ano yung mga forces na nag aakay M1? Wait. Wait, of course, which is what? In what direction? This should be? Downward. Downward, tama. Now, ano pa? Ano pa yung mga forces na nag aakay M1? Tension. Of course, you have tension, which is on parallel to the surface. And then, uh, um, ano pa? Normal force. Yeah, normal force. Normal force, which is acting um, perpendicular to the surface. Ano pa? Note here na nagbigay tayo ng assumption na yung M2 ang babagsak. From the, um, if you're, um, doon sa mga hindi, ka pa, hindi pa nakapanood ng problem na to, please watch it first kasi doon ko sinet up talaga yung paano nangyayari. But um, in our assumption, we will assume that the acceleration uh, uh, of the system is in this direction here. In this direction. So this is the direction of the acceleration. This is the direction of the acceleration. And hence, from here, we say that the, saan nga yun yung direction of frictional force? Saan yung direction of frictional force mo? If there are no forces, uh, if there are no other forces acting on the system, what will happen? Since M2 will be downward, we expect that M1 will go uh, upward. Upward the direction nga, pakyat siya. And hence, the frictional force should be acting in the opposite direction. Something like that. Tama? Tama? Nakuha to? So, I'll just label it para kita. Um, this is the tension. This is the normal force. This is the frictional force. And this is the weight of the first object, M1 G vector. And then for the second mass, ano na lang yung mangyayari sa second mass? Ano yung equations of motion niya? Similar dun sa first problem na sinolve that, sa problem na sinolve that in last time, ganun pa rin yung magiging equation of motion niya. Since wala ka namang dinag -dajak. It's just uh, tension uh, upward. And then, uh, and then, um, weight downward. Tapos, this is a big dot, and we get, um, we get something like this is T again, and this is M2 G vector. Nakuha? Nakuha to? Gets to? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, I hope this is clear. Now, what will happen? So, we, set, we now have the, the free body diagram of, free body diagrams of the, of the two masses. So, now we get to set up the equation of motion. Now, as I said in the previous discussions, for an inclined plane, ang pinakamadaling system dyan ay one parallel, pinakamadaling equation of motion, uh, sorry, pinakamadaling um, coordinate system dyan ay one parallel to the incline, one perpendicular to the incline. And I will again assume that the direction of the acceleration is the one that's positive. Hence, dito, positive y ang downward. Okay, positive y downward because I am assuming that the direction of the acceleration is the one that's positive. Okay, clear ba tayo doon? I hope that's clear. Clear tayo doon ha? Hence, we have here, we have two um, coordinates here for the first mass. Therefore, we have two equations. And hence, we have summation of forces acting on y for the first, oh, x muna pala. x for the first object i. Ano yung forces? You have tension parallel to x. You have positive t. And then friction negative minus f, and then this m1g here, if this is some theta, you can decompose again your weight. Ano ulit yung decomposition ng weight in the x direction for an incline? Ano ulit? This is minus. Ano yan? I can decompose this in this, no ba? Tapos this one. Ganyan. Ano yan? Therefore, ano yan? Ito lang ay m1g sine o cosine. This should be sine, right? Sine, theta, tama? 
Huwag kalimutan yung difference. Again, weight sa weight, baliktad. Ang, per, ang X component ay sine, ang Y component ay cosine. Baliktad yan. Okay? Clear tayo dyan, ha? And then, now, you have summation of forces acting on X for the second object. Ano yan? Normal force, positive, positive Y, and tapos wala nang, di naman nag yung friction siya tension in the X, in the Y direction. Hence, wala nang con contribution yan. However, the weight has a Y component which is minus M1G cosine theta. Okay, so uh, tapos, M2 also has some contribution. So we have, of course, wala siyang X component, you don't need to write it, but it has a Y component, summation of forces acting on Y for the second object is simply M2G, which, which is just equal to, this is M1A, because it's accelerating with some magnitude A. This should be zero. Bakit zero yan? Bakit zero yung second equation? Bakit zero yan? Why should it vanish? Anong, anong physical, physicality niyan? Bakit dapat mamamatay ito? Mamamatay yan? Yeah. Yeah. Again? Reaction, sir. Uh, not because of its reaction, because what you want is for box not to be lifted from the plane. Gusto mo lang pag ganit, sorry, balik na pala yung camera ko. Gusto mo pag ganyan lang yung inclined plane mo, di ba? Ayaw mong umakit baba yung, yung box sa inclined plane. Therefore, you need to fix that the, the Y component such that dapat mamamatay lahat ng sum of forces dyan. Okay? Clear ba yun? That's why this should vanish. This should vanish. And then for the Y component, this is just M2A, which is equal to M2G minus T. We have now three equations. However, ano yung anong natin? I have T, F, N, and A. These are four equations in three on I sorry, three equations in four unknowns. Hindi kulang tayo ng equations. Anong kulang pa natin sa equation? We have four unknowns here. Anong pa yung kailangan natin? Dito pa tayo nawawala ng equation. Ano yon? Remember that the frictional force there is kinetic in nature and hence Fk is equal to mu k n. Di ba? Tama? So I can substitute this equation here and here and in other equation and others, and we get something like an M1A e equals T minus mu KN. Uh, wait lang. Mu KN, tama. Mu KN minus M1G sine theta. And then I have an N equals M1G cosine theta. And I have an M2A equals M2G minus T. This is equation one. This is equation two. This is equation three. And then what I will do is I plug in equation 2 to equation 1, and therefore we have simply M1A equals T minus mu KMG cosine theta minus M1G sine theta, and I have an M2A equals M2G minus T. Nakuha to? Ang ginawa ko lang, plug in ko to dito. Yun ang ginawa ko. Okay. Nakukuha. Ngayon, Okay, so this is equation 4, this is equation 5. Now, what I will do with equation 4 and 5, I will add them together. Adding, so equation 4 uh, added to equation 5, we have the following. A quantity M1 plus M2 is just equal to that these will cancel. Uh, and we get something like a G quantity M2 minus this is M1, mu K, M1, uh, mu K, M1 cosine theta minus M1 sine theta and thus the acceleration for this particular system is G quantity M2 minus mu minus M1 sorry for that M1 mu K cosine theta plus sine theta divided by M1 plus M2. That is the answer for the acceleration. Nakuha? Did you get this? Nakuha to? Nakuha to? Questions? Questions? Walang tanong? Gets? Processing? <laughs> okay, what about tension? So what about tension? So from tension, Alam natin na totoo tong equations na to. Ito lang ulit yung gagamitin natin. But instead of, uh, of eliminating the tension, we will eliminate the acceleration. So eliminating A again, we have... Ay, ano nangyari? Sorry for that. 
uh, let me recopy that, sorry. Copy and then paste. Ah, mame. Ulit na. Sulat ko na nga lang. So you have M1A equals M1 uh, equals T minus mu k m1 g cosine theta, mu k m1 g cosine theta, minus m1 g sine theta, and then m2a equals um, m2g minus t. And then what I will do instead, instead of eliminating a, I, I, eliminating t, I will eliminate a by multiplying the first equation by m2, and then multiplying the second equation by negative m1, and then what I will do after is to add them. So pag ginawa mo yun, ang mga yari, the, the left hand side will vanish because I have m1, m2, a, and I have a negative m1, m2, a. If we add it together, it's zero. Yan. And therefore, I have um, um, an m2t. Uh, so I have an m1 plus m2 quantity times t. And then I have a minus m1, m2, g multiplied by mu k cosine theta. This one, when you multiply this by another one, uh, plus one to. Tapos this one, when you multiply for this one, I have plus sine theta. Mama? Mama? Medyo may mga tinanong akong steps, but nonetheless, the point here is I just uh, uh, distributed M2. And then when we do that, I have tension now is just equal to M1, M2G, all over M1 plus M2 multiplied by what? plus sine theta, plus mu k, cosine theta. This is the expression for the tension of the system. Nakuha? Questions? So, are there any questions for this particular problem? May tanong ba? May tanong? Okay. Kung medyo lost dun sa paano nangyari yung mga ganitong assumptions, please go back to lecture 13. I'm uh, sorry, lecture 12, part um, 6 over, sorry, for part 5 of part five of 6. And dun yung must detail the discussion on the particular topic. But the point here is, if you have frictional force, it will definitely contribute to, it will have another term. You have mu k cosine theta here, which is due to the frictional force exerted on the object. And that cosine theta is dependent on the normal force. Okay? May tanong ba rito? Questions? Are there any questions? Wala?